This is always the final thing I do in my bicep routine. I call the rope pull. It's a form of a hammer curl, which is actually a dumbbell you would put in your hand. But that is this movement right here. This is the hammer curl. What I'm able to do with the rope is as I'm coming up, as I'll show you in a second, when you come up, it works the brachialis, which is the muscle that comes right through the forearm up into the bicep. But what people don't know, and this just comes from the 21 years of practical knowledge that I've had over the training with all the top pro bodybuilders, power lifters, my own knowledge, you get, because you're getting to watch this DVD right now. We're going to pick it up. Let me show you. You pick up the rope, and you can already see the brachialis grab hold. You can already see, as soon as I pick that up, if you watch that muscle, boom, it pops right out. You start just like you would with a hammer curl with a dumbbell which is right here. But once again, supination of the wrist, which I explained earlier, is really, really important. So when you start, you start at the bottom. You're not rolling your shoulders forward. Your shoulders are back. Your elbows are back. You start like that. Now in a normal hammer curl, you would come up to right there, and that's the end of the movement. And this, what's original, is when you come up, you go right there, and you twist out. Right there. Now what that does, that little twist, just that little twist, works the head of the bicep right here, the outer head. This is the only movement there is that will work this outer head, the only one. You want a fully developed arm? You gotta do this. You go down, you come up and you twist. It's one movement, one slow movement, one easy movement of breathing out, breathing in. Now also, the reason that I'm actually talking to you from the side is because this is a lighter weight. If this was a heavier weight, you're always looking straight ahead. If I turn to the sides like that, you take the chance of tweaking your neck. My knees, again, as always, are bent, taking the pressure off my lower back, and I'm leaning a bit forward. So once again, we're going to go and we're going to do 10 of these. One. Two. And if you'll notice, when I come down, the supination, the natural supination of my wrist automatically turns my wrists in. You're going to want to do that. Whichever hand or whichever way your hands naturally want to move, that's the way you should move them. They naturally want to move out. They naturally want to move in. Out. In. Again, you're keeping the rope close, too. You're not keeping it out like that. If you bring the rope out like that, it's going to involve your shoulders. You can actually see my shoulder grabbing hold. If you watch right here, if I take the movement off the forearm and put it onto the shoulder, you see how it pops out? If your shoulder pops out, you don't want that. Keep it in tight. Down, up, down, up. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. 10 repetitions. That's six, seven, eight, show you the full package here.